the meaning of masculinity. So this is my effort to state an answer for the 10-year-old, which will have to be unpacked big time because the big words in here that a 10-year-old... But when I'm thinking I have to have an answer for what it means to grow up and be a man and not a woman and grow up and be a woman and not a man, these are my answers. And then I unpack them phrase after phrase in that book so or that chapter. At the heart of mature masculinity. Now stop there. The word heart there is intended to signal this is not an exhaustive definition. Okay? I'm just saying, Jewett is partly right. This reality of male and female is imponderably deep. No way could I begin to presume I know what it is to be woman, man, to the core in the depths. These are mysterious and glorious things that I don't think we can put finally into words. I just don't think we're left helpless in getting at the heart of what it is. So there's why I use the word heart. At the heart of mature masculinity is a sense of benevolent responsibility. Every word in here counts, but I won't stop to unpack every one. I do that in the book. I unpack all these phrases and why I choose sense and why I choose benevolent. And why I choose responsibility to lead, provide for, and protect women in ways appropriate to a man's differing relationships with a woman. So a husband, a pastor, a son, and a mailman don't relate the same way to the woman who answers the door. Husband kisses her. Son runs to the kitchen. Can I have a snack? And so on. Mailman, here's the package. Don't kiss me. <laughs> there, are, there are ways that men are men with women, not their wives, not their parishioners, and it changes, which is why it's so difficult to put into words. A woman that I pass on the street, is there a way to be a man with her, differently than if I were a woman, talking to a person on the telephone? These are, these are delicate issues with nuances and feel and ethos. And in the end, manhood comes out. It's not really reflected. Now, here's a person on the other end. She is a female. I can tell by the voice. I must assume this posture. But nobody lives like that. You just are who you are. And if you've grown up into a mature masculinity, there will be an appropriate demeanor. Meaning of mature femininity. At the heart of mature femininity is a freeing disposition to affirm, receive, and nurture, strengthen leadership from worthy men in ways appropriate to a woman's differing relationships. You'd have your work cut out for you to explain that to an eight-year-old, but you can. You can. When I pray with my little girl, she's 12 now, and we've I've sat on her bed for 12 years at night, give her a blessing, put my hand on her head, sing to her a little song that we sing together, and uh, pray. I regularly pray this. Lord, uh, grow Talitha up into a mature, godly, strong, intelligent woman who can discern in the men around her who would be worthy of being her spiritual leader. Amen. You see what that builds into her? It builds in the fact that 
I want her to have a character about her. It's strong. It's who she is. And I want her to know the way you relate to a man in marriage is he's your leader. Therefore, choosing him is hugely important. How easy it would be if you just forget all that and say, it's just to be handsome and make a good living and be nice to me or whatever. But you add this component, then women have their work cut out for them. Of course, men do too, but women, I'm just praying her up. I said, Lord, I won't control this in the end. I know I won't. It's not that kind of culture. There is a culture where you can buy a, buy a husband or you know choose make the marriage happen, but not this one. That's not going to happen. She's going to choose this man, not me. And so my work is being done now at age 12. It won't be done then. And I just pray that she will have a freeing disposition about her to affirm, receive, and nurture. That's a huge word in this definition. Strength and leadership from worthy men. So she's going to have to discern the worth of a man and navigate the premarital appropriate differing relationships and then move into one where she will gladly receive his leadership.